All right, we're back with part 24. Just went back to camp, but we're right where we left off. But yeah, like I said in the previous one, this might actually be the end of chapter six. It looks like Javier's gonna stir up some drama. What's your problem, brother? No problem. No, you've got a problem. Look at how you're acting. I don't have a problem. Do you have a problem? I don't know yet. But use your brain, friend. Use your brain. I'll use my brain. And you use yours. Oh, you want to die? Not particularly. You're making a dumb choice, man. I made no choices. Now Javier's character just randomly switches. What was that all about? You're just as bad. What happened to loyalty? Yeah. What did? Well, don't give up yep, on no. everything just yet. Seems he's picked his side. Other sides now? Seems that way. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Hill's just All standing right, here. Keep your eyes open, Bill. Morning, morning. Yeah, Javier is such a different character in Chapter Six in the previous than in the previous chapters. But alright, as I was saying, we're just gonna be starting with Sadie's mission here, and then we'll do John's, and then we'll be starting the end of Chapter Six, which is like three missions total, but they all happen consecutively. So let's just jump right to it. This is Ed. You okay? Peachy. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. To do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Like you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you can help me with. Abigail, Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes. Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I. You know, you and me. We're more ghosts than people, but them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? <whistles> Thanks, Arthur. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Fine morning for a killing. <laughs> hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. But one of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. 
but spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll we'll take it from there. Oh, take on. it from She's there. Like freaking out. I was just wondering what okay. gun that was. So, no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now come on. Is that a woman? Jesus. Who the hell is that lady? That's the Hellcat saw Combs swing. Damn, she just runs in. She almost got shot in the head. God damn, they're pelting me. I'd take cover on the barn, but she kind of set it on fire. Ooh, they have a sniper. Keep reloading. Brothers are a joke. God damn well. Hey, when the camera starts bobbing. God damn fool. Let's exterminate all these assholes. We don't need to get around him. Okay. You fellas can't fight. It's over now. Okay. You take the barn. I'll take the farmhouse. And remember, if he's fat and he's got a beard, he's mine. I'll try. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Run up on them and slaughter them. Hey, trying to get in here because of the light adaption, I can't see. Wow, that was a huge delay. God oh, damn. Why is there such a delay in the shooting? Oh, I didn't see this guy. She's just rushing him. He was a good man, my Jakey. <sighs> we was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Uh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, I want to get yourself cleaned up. 
Thank you, Arthur. Well, there we go. We helped Sadie get her revenge. That's such an awesome mission. It's a pretty short one. Basically, it's just like a gang hideout with Sadie. But it's a very satisfying one. The O'Driscolls are no more. Before we leave, though, I, I never remember if the fat guy with the beard actually has anything on him or not. I'm gonna search his corpse really quick. Then we gotta head all the way over to John to blow up a train bridge. Oh, he has three dollars. Oh, he does have a a note though. I thought he had something. Oh god damn it! Forgot that the law also shows up. Oh, the money respawned too. Oh, they barred the window. I was just gonna go out the window. God damn it, I'm forced to walk. I don't know why they even have a crime reported indicator for this mission. It doesn't really make any sense, because if you just come here and do the gang hideout, you can loot all of them without any worry. <laughs> but during the mission, apparently they want to show up. No, keep going the way you were going, horse. Alright. Well, I'm just gonna start heading towards John, so it'll just cut whenever I get over to him. Alright, I'm getting pretty close to John here. Let's take this bridge out. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge, we all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. But what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Help me with the rest of this. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. We're just on with John a bit. The way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, all right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I like how that conversation's not nearly friends. long enough. All right, let me know when you're ready. Are they... <laughs> It's not short enough for the distance we have to travel. <laughs> you basically have to like not push the cart to hear it at all. 
I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. I'm ready. Come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Here. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Yeah, I always like that cutscene where they're they're gonna start smoking near the TNT and they decide not to. Got one more crate here. Okay, let's go. Nice and easy. It always makes me nervous going on some of these ladders because I don't know if he's just going to try to walk off the edge or not. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mining charges. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. So why exactly are we doing this? Dutch wants a distraction. Something to buy us some time, pull some attention off of us. And we found out Cornwall's company got a contract with the army. So I think Dutch figures that after this. After this what? Yeah, I always try to start with the furthest one. Makes it a little bit easier, I guess, more convenient. Okay, I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure, go on, I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. Better work. Huh. Hey, damn it, Arthur. What is he trying to even climb here? Didn't get this finished soon, Arthur. Going as fast as the game allows me to. Nice. Perfect on. timing for this train. Come on. Oh, why is he running this way? Arthur! A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing! As hard as you can! Um Let's go, let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! Get ready to jump! It's right on us, come on! <laughs> problem that just ain't how I want to die come on let's go blow this thing up I like how they make the train approach so fast and then just slow it down <laughs> makes it try to be so much more tense than it actually um, is I think the line held you want the honors sure and let's blow it I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. 
Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <coughs> 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 There he goes. Yeah, that's a great mission. Good mission with Arthur and John. Good dialogue and everything. That's why I usually like saving this mission right before it triggers the last few missions. Because I feel like it flows a little bit better. And doing the Sadie Adler mission before where he makes that deal with Sadie. It all kind of connects a little bit better. How come I can't even stand up right now? There we go. <laughs> I've been like hitting buttons. Alright. That sets everything in motion here. The only thing we have left to do now is to trigger the Dutch mission and it leads right into the end of chapter 6 because it's just consecutive missions. So I guess my next stop is um, heading back to camp. So it'll just cut to when I get there. Alright, I'm just back at camp. But yeah, you can see the sides everybody's picked. Looks like Susan's going to talk to Mr. us. Morgan. Miss Grimshaw? You okay? <clears throat> sure. Mr. Bell seems to have found a couple of men he knows. They're sitting over there. Really? Dutch seems fine with it, but it feels odd to me. Yes. Very odd. Well, try to keep your head straight. As right. he brings in Cleet and that other guy. For some reason, the Dutch is just still okay with it. All right, let's do this. I think it actually gives you one more chance uh, between this and the next mission to finish anything up, but I think most of it kind of shuts down the camp, though. So why are these two still here? Old pals of Micah's. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> It's lucky I bumped into him. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me? Mr. Vandalin! Mr. Morgan! Charles! They try to kill my people for oil! For oil! Today we ride once more! Ride with me! Ride with us! Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son! It is a thing of great beauty! Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust 
Yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Ride with me! Now! Stop. Please. Stop. <laughs> Please, Mr. Morgan, after you help me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do, Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. Let's ride out. Right, everything between the military and the Indians is coming to a head now. What have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Timbuktu? That's enough. What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier, Bill. Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose, because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Come on! Man, for every time Dutch tries to counter us when we try to confront him, he gives no answers or any sort of leadership. He just yells and bickers and then Javier and Bill are just randomly backing him up. And then Micah just makes things worse. It's like, how are we supposed to be loyal to him if he just keeps leading us into all these things that get more and more of his gang members killed? And he keeps making all these really bad decisions and screwing it's a bunch of people them. over? Son. Just doesn't make sense. Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick, somebody help! No, him. no, go! Please hurry! Help me! Come on! Help these men. And then they won't see Eagle Flash. There, going across the walkway. You got what you wanted, Dutch. 
You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. If you go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. Yeah! Let's ride! That's so awesome, dude. Actually get a noticeable performance hit though with all the burning effects in the background. Damn, I'm dipping a lot. Why can't I take cover? Yeah, there goes my hat. I think most of the distant smoke is cleared so the performance is normal again. But yeah, dude, the soundtrack and everything in this mission is so good. Arthur! Get up! Thank you! All of you! We need to go! Where are my men? Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone! Let's go! Quick! Any men we see, we must save them! Let's find the others. We need to go. Smoke back. You're nothing but murderers. Got that murderers. I don't even think that hurt anybody. How many of you does it take? And he just shot my hat again. Leave my hat alone. What was that guy even doing back there? Why is this guy just invincible? That's three headshots on him. He's still alive, apparently. Okay, they're pelting me right here.
Damn, we're getting surrounded. I'm always so used to clicking the hammer after a shot that when I'm dual wielding, I just shoot twice on accident. God, this guy, man, he's just dodging. Right, let's go see Dutch. Over here, Arthur. So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. He did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on! Get him out of here! All of you! Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. I like how Dutch just expect us to know his it's plan upstairs, without ever telling us. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money. You fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free? Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on, don't doubt me no more. Well, you're gonna probably give us more reason to. Search the place. I gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. We got some cash. Not that much. Grab a health cure here. I got him. I got him. This is it. The state bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth. Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. Dutch actually seemed happy right there. <laughs> Man, it's real quiet all of a sudden. Damn, those are some jukes. You, you 
silly fool! Come on! You saved my life more than once. To give mine for yours, it's as it should be. Come on! We need to go. You. You ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job, well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare! Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to what PT as fast as we can. Yep, Dutch shows his true colors in that Hold very on, moment. Our men. He doesn't give a shit at all. We must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this, about all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch, Dutch is... I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and... and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. Things should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. Okay, sure Charles? did. Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... some reason to. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. Man, Charles is too good for the Vanderlyn gang. Here, my friend, he's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. Alright, we got him back. I think he's been shot. Oh no. He is wounded. Bring him to me.
Paixão. Fast. I'll stay and help them. I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. gerettet, als wir wirklich Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber... Right, a lot happens in that one. A lot. Did we just wake up in a ditch somewhere in Ansburg after is another tuberculosis attack? But it's those uh, German people, I think, that we saved in chapter two when we found our new camp. Yeah, All man. Know, Eagle flies the died. Hi, mister. Because of Dutch, just another victim of Dutch's madness. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to head back to camp. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Did I already own that newspaper or something? Get the latest, all right is that here. an older newspaper? I don't really know which one's even the latest one. What did it say? Weird. But alright, I'm gonna just head back to camp. Trigger the last moments of the game now. So that, move, that mission's so intense. Who are those two creepy fellas over with Micah? Two guns, he knows. What the hell are they doing here? I have no idea. Arthur, I'm, I'm real scared. This, this ain't good. You're gonna be okay, but be ready. Just be ready. I understand. Anyway, I'll lead you to it. Right, as you can see, we made it back to camp. Abigail voiced her concerns to us. Bill. What are you up to now, Morgan? I can see all this is hitting you hard. Don't you try and sidle up to me. I ain't. We've been friends a long time. 
Whatever, Morgan. What an idiot. He just gets under my skin. Well, you're giving him what he wants then. Okay. Guess I'll leave you. I guess Micah then. was picking on Take John care. before we got here. Or while we were talking to Abigail, maybe. Here's these two weirdos. Who are you? Name's Joe. I'm with Micah. With Micah? Well, more fool you. Well, try to keep your head straight. Whatever you say. Just what you doing here? Micah brought us in for the train job. Name's Cleet, by the way. He did, did he? Okay. Well, I'll be watching you, Cleet. <laughs> Joe and Cleet. Just like that that kid named Cleet in San Denis. Pretty sure that Cleet's also going to be a troublemaker. <laughs> Oh, well, I, I know he's a troublemaker. We're working it out. I know. Just be careful. You too. Well, don't give up on everything. Just can't just trust yet. the cleat. Uh -huh. You know, I'd have been killed in that factory if it wasn't for Eagle Flies. And Dutch? Oh, he did nothing. Less than nothing. He ran. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. All right then, Arthur. Alright, I guess. Let's go ahead and do this. Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe ain't we no can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And I'm always a goddamn train, Arthur. <coughs> this is different. <laughs> We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but you know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best. I will see to it. Huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. in the middle of a city? No, it's 
It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let all some boys head home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. Alright. Let's see if Dutch's final plan pays off. But yeah, dude, he he did not like the insist. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hit the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Man, Dutch really doesn't like us hanging out with John. <laughs> Just crazy. Cause Dutch Dutch's favorite gang members were Arthur and John, and now his favorite's Micah. Like how the hell does that even happen? I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay. It's in the back. Whoa. Just moved my horse really fast right there. Took one bundle, Let's huh? Get this done. So listen, Abigail just told me the money. It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. But whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next. We're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. Dutch will have something to complain about. There you are. Got everything? Yeah. Then off we go. Off we go indeed. I just like how Dutch time, says he's okay with letting people boat. leave because they're not we'll prisoners, yet he treats Chicago, leaving as a prisoner a hat. <laughs> like he so threatens with worried, their lives with it. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. All coming together, Dutch. Just like we planned. Is that okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. I don't understand how Dutch even keeps Micah around. Micah just reminds me of how Colonel Driscoll used to Not be or something like now. that. So I don't understand how... Dutch can even tolerate him. <laughs> Never made any sense to me. But I'm sure we don't look suspicious at all, especially with Cleet and Joe in our gang. 
Joe more so than Cleet, though. I guess Cleet looks relatively normal. But Joe stands out like a sore thumb. Whoa. All right. Cleet, Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well... Everybody mount up! We're still going through with this! Of course we are! <laughs> nice. Now we gotta rush. Come on, Arthur! We gotta get on that train! We Hang on, it's on slowing my side. horse down. Alright, girl. Ooh. Oh, Jesus Christ, John. Oh no, he's stuck. John, you come on. Oh, John's not making. Oh, wait, is it? no, it's Cleet. Oh, where did he come from? Dude, this guy's got the moves. Dude, this guy from the Matrix? Jesus Christ. Screw this guy. Alright, well, am I gonna fail for abandoning John, or is he just gonna teleport? Because John is nowhere to be found. I think John. I think John is supposed to give us a boost or something in this part. Oh, here we go. Never had John get stuck in this mission before, it's so weird. One of us walking away from this. I'm assuming they're just gonna eventually teleport him. Yeah, there he is. Whoa, John, how'd you get here? Just teleports. Let's get back on there. Get back on, It didn't actually do that. It could have 
really glitched out. Bastard's shot, John. Cross really jumps on this thing. Can I rotate this thing? Yeah, here we go. Damn, that guy got messed up. I know I can just let loose, but I, I don't know, I just like being more precise. I don't want to kill the horses, too. On the, land. On the left and the right. I like how the animation's so jittery in Deadeye for the Maxim gun. God damn, that guy took like five shots from this thing. in it. John. I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on. Let's go. Before another patrol turns up.
Johnson and his men took it to Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's a... Uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Yeah! That's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! Yeah! If they're putting her on a How boat, far does she's probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, Lying sons yes. of bitches about John. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. One thing is, like, if you've never played the first Red Dead Redemption, I'm sure people are like, oh no, John's dead. But if you have played it before, you'd know it's just impossible. Now he don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way Get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we can still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> and Eagle Flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. What's left of it. Now, come on. We did, uh, see, like, another thing with the way the games connect with the inconsistencies, it's like... They tried to say that John doesn't mention Arthur because it's too painful, but why doesn't John mention Sadie or Charles? Because they're still a pretty big influence on John's life. That's why I wish they would have done a Red Dead Redemption remake instead of their PS4 and Switch port. But it is what it is. Okay. First one's still Here an amazing game, though. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. I actually still prefer it over this one. This one obviously has, like, more refined gameplay mechanics, though. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get. 
Alright. Let's do it. <laughs> Sadie just trying not to tell him that he's worrying her about his conditions. But yet she wants to make a guy with infected lungs hike all the way up this lighthouse. Like that's gonna be any better. <laughs> It's kind of hard covering her because of the scope blinding. The Damn, I thought he's gonna keep walking the same way. They always move at last second. <laughs> Kill that guy. It's like, how am I not hitting this guy? She's out. Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. I'm the dude. And he just left my decked out Carcano rifle up there. Weapon Bob, man. Of course, I can't see that guy fully. Damn it. Oh, he just does a side stray. I wonder if that guy's still above. Yeah, he is. Is it? Oh no, my hat! Dude, these bullet jukes. Whoa, what the hell? There's a guy right behind me. Asshole. I wonder if a hat. My hat just disappeared. Alright, we're leaving it. I think he just auto equips it after this, anyways. Get out of here. 
Calm down, Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. <laughs> Horrible man. <laughs> now come on, both of you. Yeah, what do you know? Mike is an we even bigger piece of shit than not. There's these guys. Wait, what the hell? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, why is she on my horse? Why is it aiming off to their right? Shit. The crosshair is aiming like a couple of inches off to their wall. Inches relatively to their body position, I guess, to their right. John. Where's John? I, I don't... I think... Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. You gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. 
Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <laughs> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. It's all our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. <laughs> Always was a good thief. <laughs> That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> yeah. The many miles. All right, our final ride. Abigail found Dutch's chest. Now we gotta, well, we gotta try to convince Dutch that Mike is a rat, but I'm sure that. <laughs> we know that doesn't go too smoothly. Huh? Let's just listen to the music. That's the way. I just wish you'd done it before he worked yourself into the grave. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. May the wind be at your back. Good fortune touch your head. The cards lay out astray All from your command That's the way it is That's the way it is You saved my life Okay, camp. Let's do this. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry. We ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. 
Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you? You pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell. And put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming. Fast. Ah! Now! Ah! Ah! Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Man, Dutch does the wrong thing again. God damn it, Dutch. Hit this guy from here. Damn Agent Ross. Alright, guess that guy's bullet immune. Holy Jesus, I can't see. Light adaptions taking a while to kick in in this cave. Stay right. with me, Arthur. Just me and John again. I still, they didn't flesh out Bill and Javier's choice to go with Dutch Jesus, that much in this game. It's like they have Let's such blind loyalty and no character in Chapter in Six that it just seems a little odd. Kind of like they were predisposed because we of the first game. Keep going! There's a just up ahead! Get after him! <laughs> See you, these guys. Are you alright, Arthur? I'm with you. Keep going! Hey, hold it right there! Arthur, you go up first! Oh man, our stamina core blinked. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Surprise Dutch is so ready to just shoot at us. Come on, ride. Yep. There's Pinkerton's up ahead in the tree. Come on, Arthur. How did you fool survive this long? Drop that. Stop right there. Drop your weapon. Get blocked in the road. This way. Following you, John. You got to get ahead of me, though. Why you try going straight? Me? Pinkerton's on the left. Don't keep the others busy. Here we go. There's Pinkerton's everywhere. We gotta move. Yeah. There's an open. Oh. Oh. 
going, brother. Let's go. Give me a second. Come on. Push, Arthur. Thank you. Arthur! Come on, Arthur. Yeah. Let's go. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, but... Uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't understand. Go. Like, why go back for the money? What are we gonna do with it? Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here! I never understood that choice, because it's like, how pointless would that be? I mean, you just go back for the money and then die of tuberculosis and lose it? Dumb decision. Yeah, right when you think it couldn't get worse, Rockstar goes in and kills her horse. Let's get up this cliff. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. Look out. The, uh, scoping us out here. Get behind a rock! Hey! Can only move so fast. God damn it! They're everywhere! Get out! You must really okay, I guess we take cover on this weird angle. How could it, like... And the reticle's red, but the bullet still I'm misses sometimes. Let's go! Come on! Alright, Arthur, come on, let's go! You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now, I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. God damn you bastards! There we go, there's our passing the torch moment. Oh man, my dead eye core must be gone. I can't hit any of these guys. <laughs> Oh great! It's Micah. Rats! You rat! I'm a survivor, Black Love! A survivor! That's all there is! Living and dying! Ah! Oh, Black Love! You don't know how much I've longed to do this! Feels good finally beating up Micah. I got what I wanted. Mike is such a dick. You've lost. 
It'd be so funny if there was an alternate ending for throwing him off the mountain. But they prevent you from doing it. He'll just do the same choke animation. After we're done, I'm gonna kill Marston too. You ain't no man. I'm blocking. Oh, what do I have to do to block? I thought you just had to hold it. It's not doing anything. There we go. All there is winning and losing. gonna reach that gun you ain't you lost my sick friend you lost despite my best efforts to the country it turns out I won't It is over. Now. What? It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. The rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! Ah!
That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence well, on your mother, here boy. we have it. Boy? Sorry, sir. Finish chapter six. It's never see, easy watching Arthur influence. die, but we know it was coming. With your books. Now we're in epilogue Which one. Was that? You know that Starting a new life as John. John looks so weird with a beard. Yep. It's an intense ending. It's a great ending, though. I, I don't know how people can get the bad honor ending, though. With, um... Micah just shooting Arthur in the face. I, I can't give Micah that satisfaction. I know you leave him with a scarred eye, but... Giving Micah the last shot on Arthur just still does not feel right to me. What's his name? There's... Yep, you got John and Abigail and out, and Jack, and although Guinevere. Red Dead Redemption kind of makes, like the first game kind of makes his choice in, in vain, but you know still, a great ending, so Arthur's story is really amazing, he's a really great character, but yeah, starting life is John now, I'll just pull into Strawberry, and then probably end this part. Oh, I think I just ran over a bird. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I have a mod that fixes John's hair so that he just doesn't have a retextured Arthur hair. Um, but yeah, it's weird that he grows a beard, considering in the first game, apparently he has a hard time growing a beard, from his own words. Like, he says that he can't really grow a thick, full I beard. I strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Yeah. Been a long time. We've arrived at Strawberry. Yeah, that the mod where John has his gunslinger outfit or cowboy outfit, I guess, in that final scene makes it just even better, I think. It's such a great game, man. It's unfortunate how Arthur's here? life turned out. But even even before this game came out, I kinda of figured that Arthur was go gonna see die. What kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or Polishing some rich fella's boots or some such? Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Well. Yeah, this is probably where I'll end this part. How you doing, friend? We are in epilogue one now. Which, like I said, I'm going to try to get all of epilogue done in one part, but epilogue one can last a pretty long time. So we'll see what happens. Might be split into two. Yeah, as you can see, I also have his walking animation from Red Dead Redemption 1 installed. But yeah. A lot of stuff happened in this. It's probably going to be a little bit longer because we just got through the last few missions of Chapter 6. But it was awesome. A lot of action. A lot of emotional story moments. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in Part 25.